The 2024 Chevrolet Blazer EV made a strong debut, with reservations for this two-row electric crossover filling up so fast that Chevy had to pause taking new orders. Upon its release, the Blazer EV received largely positive reviews. However, a software issue affecting charging and the infotainment screen led to a brief stop sale order. While not an ideal start for any automaker, those early bumps are now behind us. The Blazer EV is back on the market with significant software updates resolving the initial problems. Additionally, it now comes with a price reduction, making it a more budget-friendly option. With the increasing variety of EVs available today, is the Blazer EV worth considering? We believe it is. Despite the early setbacks, the Chevrolet Blazer EV stands out as a strong contender in the electric vehicle market. Initial bad press can be tough to shake off, but recalls and updates are a common part of the automotive industry, affecting everything from budget-friendly cars to luxury models. Issues arise and get fixed. Here's why you shouldn't let that deter you. Exterior. Sporty and aggressive. The Blazer EV boasts a striking exterior design. It features a wide and low stance with sharper lines than the Equinox EV. From the rear, its sloped roof adds an aggressive look, and the broad rear end takes inspiration from sports car design. Chevy clearly invested thought into the Blazer EV's aesthetics, not just its performance. Unlike many EVs that have plain, flat fronts due to the lack of need for engine cooling grills, the Blazer EV presents a front end that resembles a traditional gas-powered car at first glance. Enjoy the light show. The Blazer EV's exterior lighting is a standout feature, particularly evident when you plug it in to charge. A light bar spans the front edge of the hood, incorporating an illuminated Chevy bowtie badge. This design element addresses the common issue of flat, uninspired front ends on EVs. When plugged in, the light bar pulses to indicate successful charging, and the tail lights join in with a slow, steady pulse. It creates an impressive visual effect, though be prepared for well-meaning neighbors to possibly mistake it for lights left on. Interior, basic black or red everywhere. Chevy's interiors are typically functional but unremarkable. However, the Blazer EV breaks this mold with its bold interior color choices of black or a striking adrenaline red. The red isn't just an accent. It dominates the interior, providing a vibrant, sporty feel. For those not keen on red, the alternative is black, but the red interior truly brings the car to life. It complements the sporty exterior and adds a touch of sophistication. The materials used include perforated suede and Evitex, an imitation leather that offers a high-quality look and feel. Attention to detail. Beyond the striking colors and quality materials, the Blazer EV's interior is enhanced by thoughtful details. Prominent among these are three large circular vents beneath the infotainment screen, with two additional side vents. These vents feature a textured design, adding a focal point to the dashboard and contributing to the vehicle's overall appeal. Contrast and comfort. The Blazer EV's interior is designed to avoid blandness, featuring contrast stitching and textured surfaces. Soft touch materials span from the doors to the center console, adding a premium feel and enhanced comfort. A wireless charging pad is conveniently placed against the center console storage, ensuring your phone is within easy reach while staying secure during sharp turns or sudden stops. Seating. Get comfortable. The Blazer EV offers seating for five, with front seats that are both sculpted and bolstered to provide a balanced mix of comfort and support. The RS trim we tested includes standard heated and ventilated front seats, with an eight-way power driver seat and a six-way power passenger seat. Rear passengers benefit from ample legroom, surpassing that of the Ford Mustang Mach-E and VW ID.4. Even with the front seats adjusted for a six-foot passenger, those of average height can still sit comfortably in the back. Rear air vents and the option for heated rear seats on select trims further enhance passenger comfort. Cargo. Loaded up. As a mid-size SUV, the Blazer EV might not cater to those with extensive cargo needs, but it still offers impressive roominess. The wide lift gate opening facilitates easy loading of bulky items, revealing a spacious cargo area. With 25.5 cubic feet of space behind the rear seats and 59.8 cubic feet behind the front seats, slightly less in models without a sunroof, it accommodates both passengers and luggage. We managed to fit five people in the Blazer EV 
along with carry-on bags and backpacks for everyone, with room to spare for additional items. Performance. Enjoy the drive. All-wheel drive trims of the Blazer EV get an 85 kilowatt hour battery with dual motors for 288 horsepower and 333 lbft of torque. Choose rear-wheel drive, and you get a single motor with a larger 102 kilowatt hour battery pack with 340 horsepower and 325 lbft of torque. This isn't a performance vehicle, but it still delivers slightly more horsepower than the base Ford Mustang Mach-E and much more than the Volkswagen ID.4, two of its close competitors. It's also more expensive, so you pay for that extra performance. Range for all-wheel drive trims is 279 miles, while rear-wheel drive gets a nice boost to 324 miles per charge. While that's a big difference, the key here is realistically looking at how much you drive in an average day. Sure, the trip to grandma's house at the holidays might require stops to charge, but the trip to the office or school or soccer practice, that can easily be managed by just plugging in when you get home at the end of the day. Charge up and go. When you do plug in, charging time varies depending on the source. The slowest 120V charger will add all of 4 miles every hour, so don't make that part of your plan. If you're getting an EV, then you should also look at installing a 240V charger at home. That'll give you up to 31 miles of range per hour. The fastest charging comes from finding a DC fast charger. Plug into one of these on the way to grandma's house, and you get 80 miles in 10 minutes with rear-wheel drive or 68 miles with all-wheel drive. Again, think about how you drive. Most of the time, charging overnight at home will do the trick. Infotainment. Something is missing. There's a 17.7-inch infotainment touchscreen that sits front and center on the dashboard. It looks great with those three large air vents sitting just below to create a cohesive look. The system features Google built-in with fantastic voice recognition. It heard us correctly on the first try every time. The touchscreen is responsive and has all the apps you could want, mostly. Neither Apple CarPlay nor Android Auto are available and it's downright frustrating. This was a choice on GM's part, and it's one we dislike. Overall, the system was easy to use, but we did discover our vehicle never received the software updates released to fix the problems we mentioned earlier. As a result, our screen turned off and on for no reason, and we even had a couple of fun battery fault codes. A quick call to Chevy and an inspection of the vehicle confirmed the update was missed on our tester, so we'll give them the benefit of the doubt that updated versions work just fine. Driving Impressions Easy Going EV Living The Blazer EV is not a sports car, although the upcoming SS trim might defy that statement. Instead, it's an attractive, comfortable, and easy-going EV. There's nothing complicated or fussy to manage, and it makes the work of getting used to driving an EV less daunting. There is an adjustment period when you go EV.